a split power system using a double roller full toroidal variator and a double planet epicyclic. It delivers reverse, neutral and forward states without any change to the input speed. The sun gear is driven directly by the engine and the ring gear is driven by the output from the CVT. The CVT ratio varies from 0.32 to 3.04. The epicyclic ratio is 2.5. In this animation, the input speed remains constant at 10 RPM. When the CVT is in extreme low gear at a ratio of 0.32 and the input from the sun is 10 RPM, the output from the planet carrier is a reverse gear of 1.33. The vehicle is now driving in reverse at a moderate speed. The IVT is subject to high levels of recirculating power of 900%. This leaves the overall system efficiency at below 70%. As the CVT ratio moves away from extreme low gear to a ratio of 0.38 and without varying the speed of the sun, the output from the planet carrier becomes a reverse speed of 0.33 RPM. The vehicle is now driving in reverse at a very low speed. The system is operating with extremely high levels of recirculating power, reducing the overall efficiency to 10%. When the CVT ratio is 0.4, and again without varying the speed of the sun, the planet carrier becomes stationary, regardless of the input speed. The vehicle is now in what is often called geared neutral. The wheels are connected to the engine, but are not rotating. The output torque in this state is theoretically infinite, created by recirculating power, not the engine itself. Torque protection systems must be put in place to protect the CVT, the epicyclic gear set and the vehicle itself from over torque. The torque limits of this type of split power system are determined not by the input torque but by the allowable output torque. The ratio spread of an IVT with gear neutral is infinite because the lowest gear is zero. In this state, the efficiency drops to zero because although there is some input power required to keep the gear circulating, there is no output energy at all. As the CVT ratio is moved away from the geared neutral position, the output speed of the planet carrier starts to move in the forward direction, but slowly. The CVT ratio is now 0.7 and the output speed is 5 in the forward direction. Again the input speed remains at the 10 RPM in this animation. The vehicle is now moving forward slowly. At these low speeds, the output torque from the planet carrier can remain very high because the actual reduction ratios are much higher than with a normal step transmission. The IVT system, when in these low gear states, works as a torque multiplier in much the same manner as a torque converter excepting where the torque converter can multiply the input torque by 2 or 3, the IVT can multiply by 50 to 100 times. The recirculating power reduces rapidly as the vehicle picks up speed with a corresponding increase in efficiency.
When the ratio of the CBT becomes 1, the sun, carrier and ring all rotate at the same speed of 10 rpm. The planets no longer need to rotate and the CBT itself becomes almost 100% efficient because nothing is actually moving within it. The double roller CBT is also over 98% efficient in this state, resulting in an extremely efficient overall system, even though there continues to be some recirculating power present. As the ratio of the CBT moves towards its high gear position, the speed of the carrier rapidly increases. In this state, the vehicle is moving forward at moderate speed. The recirculating power has reduced and the overall system efficiency remains relatively high. With a further ratio change towards high gear, with the CVT at a ratio of 2.4, the output speed becomes 33.33. The vehicle is now driving forwards at high speed. Recirculating power reduces forward further, although overall efficiency drops off slightly. When the CBT ratio is moved to extreme high gear of 3.04, the input speed is multiplied by well over four times. The vehicle is now moving very fast with the recirculating power reduced to 130%. The overall system efficiency drops to below 93% because although the recirculating power has reduced, the CVT efficiency also reduces. At this speed, it is possible to switch the drive directly to the output of the differential, re-establishing an overall system efficiency of over 97%. This fundamentally very simple single regime power split mechanism is incorporated in the T-Box IVT150 automotive transmission. Combined with the double roller full toroidal variator or DFTV, a secondary reduction epicyclic, a torque protection brake and a differential, it produces the world's smallest and simplest automatic transmission.